Hey guys, what's up? Um, yeah, so I saw a couple movies lately, and uh, I want to talk about them in separate videos. This particular video, I want to talk about Solo, a Star Wars story, which I finally saw. You know, better late than never. And overall, I, I really, really, really enjoyed it, but th there is a big problem with it. A problem that I can connect with uh, a lot of the other like Disney Star Wars movies, but we'll get to that later. As far as the guy who played Han Solo, he was fine. I mean, I, I guess I could see that dude growing into Han Solo. It was cool, it shows you how he met Chewie, you get to see him, um, what's the fucking thing that he always said? Like, uh, I, I don't know, like 12 parsecs, some bullshit, like with the Millennium Falcon, I, I don't even remember uh, specifically, but they show you how that happens. That was really cool. The ending, the way it leaves off when you find out who's been behind everything. Now, spoiler free, no spoilers here. Fucking super awesome and actually does make me excited to see uh, more of this Star Wars extended universe. Although I do think that they need to tone it down a little bit, I do think that they should limit making a Star Wars movie to like maybe every like three years or so. <coughs> Excuse me. Give the fans like a little bit of time to, you know, get hungry for it and what have you. And uh, the train sequence was fucking awesome. The movie was entertaining. Donald Glover was fucking great as Lando Calrissian. Overall, I mean, I think that the movie got more shit than it deserved. However, there is the dark fly on the wall of that movie, the Jar Jar Binks of that movie, although, thankfully, not nearly as like prominent in the film as Jar Jar Binks. And that is that fucking stupid robot. <sighs> now, when the robot's character is first introduced, they're in a fucking seedy, you know, space bar, and people are betting on robot fights. And this robot, who is a woman, uh, is up against the side like, don't you realize that you're slaves? They're just using you, yada, 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 yada. Okay, so a sentient robot that doesn't like other robots being used for shit. All right, okay, whatever. I mean, laying it on a little heavy, but okay, fine. And like, there was one scene in particular that like made me actually fucking cringe. I don't remember exactly what the question was that was asked. I've only seen this movie once, and it was about, like, two weeks ago. But it was something about, like, you know, what do you want out of life or something? And the robot's like, equality. Feminism, right? Stop. In Star Wars Episode Eight, and I've done a couple videos on Star Wars Episode Eight this year, okay? I, I loved it. I go up to the bat for it. I say it has its problems. I acknowledge several problems, but I say I, I fucking love it anyway. But it's like, even in that one... Laura Dern's character, don't even remember her name, don't care, honestly, to remember her name. She's this fucking person who takes control of the craft while Princess Leia's, you know, unconscious, and she gives Poe Gameron, like, no information whatsoever. Like, we're just gonna maintain a course, that's all she tells him, we're just gonna maintain a course burning fuel with the fucking First Order behind us. And so, Poe Gameron, of course, is sort of like... This is the entire rebellion. You can't just fucking, you can't just maintain course and have us, you know, until we die. And so the whole thing is toxic masculinity. He fucking, you know, tries to take command of the fucking ship. And he winds up getting tasered by Princess Leia. And then when he comes to, she calmly explains to him that, well, we're actually headed to this planet that has an old rebel base where we might be able to hold out until we can get reinforcements. Now, for what reason couldn't you have told him about that they basically like emasculated the han solo of the new movie but then seeing this stupid fucking robot in the fucking han solo movie it, it really just kind of reinforced everything and i'm sort of like you know what kathleen kennedy i think i think you gots to go the whole purpose of going out to see a Star Wars movie is that it's an excursion. It's an excursion from reality. It's a fucking two hour and 15 minute vacation that people get to take from the fucking bullshit that's on fucking social media and just out there in life. Star Wars is supposed to be a fucking escape. Nobody fucking wants feminism in Star Wars movies. And, and, and again, Han Solo, 
was for the most part a good movie. Were it not for that aspect, I would have liked this movie exponentially better. And the, and the fucking thing is, you look at something at like Star Wars, okay, and it's fucking timeless. You look at it and, and, and you're like, that is a fucking masterpiece of cinema. That story is always going to be appreciated for, for, like, you know, centuries from now. Yeah, even if they say the special effects suck, they're going to be like, what a creative idea. Star Wars is a timeless fucking classic. Stop making it about now. What's in the now? Knock it the fuck off. Because I'm telling you, this shit isn't gonna last. As is evident by those box office returns, ease off of the fucking virtue signaling. Just make a fucking story. Because your fucking politics has no fucking place in a fucking Star Wars movie.